Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And finally I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And so I have been sharing with you guys my experiences of what it's like for me to encounter uh, heavy topics like love and dating. And I wanted to mention, first off, I am 33 years old now, and I have never had a chance to have a boyfriend. And I, what I wanted to do was mention to you that I've had flings, I've had crushes on other guys, and I even had a crush on another guy who was on the autism spectrum like myself. And uh, I tried to hook into him, I chased him around. Unfortunately, I wasn't good enough for him. It turned out, first off, that... Uh, he lived in a fantasy world and he wanted a girl who was an alter geek like he was. And I think that's really sad because uh, he, you know, if he had, his, had a good head on his shoulders and he didn't live in that fantasy world, he probably would be impressed why I liked him. And that was because I thought he was uh, so inspirational. I mean, he was the first guy I met that had on the spectrum that had gone to college and got a major degree at a huge university in mechanical engineering and he was good at mathematics and this is while I was learning math as well. Uh, unfortunately that didn't work out, I mean, which is sad because he's a good guy, uh, but it's a blessing in disguise because he wasn't really dating material to begin with because he had social deficits of his own. So anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about a situation that had happened back when I was 21 years old. So I had moved here to Atlanta in 2003 and I had been gone for three months and it was uh, when I was down here for the first three months that my aunt started teaching me social skills and what was appropriate versus what not was appropriate and I was learning how to well, do mathematics and build a better background so I could go to college at my dream school, Georgia State University. So anyway, I ended up going to visit my family after three months and it, well, it was while I was up there that um, I had learned that um, one of my sisters had uh, gotten her second boyfriend and of course I was uh, pretty disappointed and pretty sad about the matter because uh, she had two boyfriends and I had never had a chance to have one and I had really liked uh, that other kid that uh, that my coworkers at the amusement park had set up, but was, uh, had tried to set me up with, but that didn't work out. So anyway, I wanted to talk about uh, a situation, and I also want to give you guys some advice too, if you are siblings and if you are parents. So what had happened was um, it was on that Friday before I ended up going back, or, or the night before, and I was downstairs watching TV with my second sister, and I heard the doorbell ring, and I went to answer it, and there was uh, my sister's boyfriend, and of course, my sister was late coming home, and I went to open the door to try to introduce myself, and little did I know that my sister had uh, had been hiding behind the bushes, and she, she popped out of the bushes and gave him a hug, and uh, she was uh, really excited and really into it, but I don't think she was uh, thinking about my feelings. She was just really overwhelmed and overexcited because she was only, what, 15 and a half years old, and she hugged her boyfriend and, oh, honey, so that kind of an attitude. And, of course, um, when I saw her do that, I felt like uh, I had been stabbed in the heart. And I just, I immediately started to feel very sad about that. And maybe perhaps I'm still very sad that that happened. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can tell it or not. But they came in the house and my mom started to serve them hors d'oeuvres. And of course, I had wanted to meet him, but I was also sad and jealous of my sister. But at the same time, my dad had warned my mom and my sister not to bring him around because there, he was worried that I would have a temper tantrum and I would have a panic attack because uh, things didn't go the way that I wanted him to. And of course, he, unfortunately, he was right. So my sister and my, her uh, boyfriend uh, went down into the basement and you know, they, they were down there snuggling and... Uh, they were down there and my sister was talking to me uh, with this really phony voice like, Maya, you're really cool, you're really cool. And of course, I mean, I was in tears. I mean, I was mad, I started slamming things. And, and of course, I called my sister a slut because she didn't have, because I'd never had a chance to have a boyfriend and I thought she was being a bit of a show off and that she just, she was being very inconsiderate. So, um, 
I, I, I got into an argument with her and I got into an argument with my mom and that argument very quickly escalated and I started throwing things and it, it ended up resulting where they were leaving to try to report me to the police because I was feeling depressed and angry about the situation and I didn't want them to leave. I, just, I wanted attention. I wanted to be loved and so I got mad and picked up a rock and threw it at the car. So anyway, um, I wanted to mention that first off, I regret doing those things and second off, I uh, really think that uh, if you have a child with autism that has never had a special someone, you need to put yourself in their shoes and you need to think, hey, what would it be like for me if I, ha if I have never had a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Well, you know, think about what it would be like day in and day out to see um, Susie Q over there um, snuggling with their special someone or Jimmy Bean over here snuggling with Pollyanna. I mean, you need to think about them. I mean, sh but at the same time, you also need to work on setting boundaries for the other person. I mean, l the, who may be upset. You, may, you might need to tell them, hey, uh, I, hey. They may be having a hard time, but you need to work on um, being considerate to that person and you need to help uh, the individual on the spectrum understand, hey, you know, that this isn't your life, this is theirs. Or you could probably you know, teach them how to remove themselves from the situation or uh, teach that child how to communicate and say, hey, by being direct with them and saying, hey, I'm very angry with you for allow for allowing my brother or sister to bring my boyfriend over here and uh, show off in front of me. This isn't fair. I mean, I'm, I want to be happy for them, but I can't be happy if they're going to be inconsiderate. So until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to state below. And um, also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.